Hello and welcome to another video review from TouchGaming.org. Today we'll be reviewing Mouseabout, which is available for $2.99 on the App Store. This game is by Cobra Mobile. Um, it's a very simplistic game, but it's also very nice. Uh, it has very great presentation, as you can see here. Uh, all these menus and little screens here look very nice, very professional. And even this loading bar looks very unique. It has these little cheese icons for the mouse, since it's a Mouseabout game. Um, from starters, the menu is very nice. There's a little animation in the background where those little fruits are falling down. And there's also a uh, nicely vib nice and vibrant colors as well as a very clean menu system. Uh, there's a couple menu items. Play game, options, high scores, player select, help, and more games, as well as exit. Um, we'll go to options first. You can adjust the music volume. Uh, personally, I like the music a lot. It sounds very catchy, so you can I like it on 10. Uh, you can also adjust the sound effects volume. And you can also learn more about mouse about. Uh, there's also high scores. Uh, the game by default populates this high scores with Sacha, which is the name of uh, the cat that tries to eat your mouse. Uh, there's also the player select. You can have up to six different profiles to store high scores in, so your friends can add a high scores to your uh, local high score menu as well. There's also the help area, which explains to you how to play the game. Uh, this is also presented the first time you start the game up on a profile. Um, it's a very nice, um, nice uh, little help session. Pretty much explains how to play the game because it is very simple. But it's also uh, very nicely presented. There's nice little pictures in some of the places. It's on a piece of cheese, which looks nice. It also explains all the different food types and their points. You can see here, there's lots of different types of food as well. As well as these special ones, such as eclairs, shells, and star biscuit. Um, so we'll start the game now. Um, there are no set levels, so the backgrounds change as the as the level changes. Um, it's like a randomated engine in which uh, you uh, start in a random area. I think they might progress by the background, although the food places are different every time. Uh, what you try to do is you try to move the mouse to eat the food without falling off the map. Uh, when the mouse touches a food item, then it will stop in its place. So if you try to um, move out of the area, such as like this, then your mouse will be eaten by the cat. And you'll lose a life, as you can see here. You can also pause the game during it and change the options as well, which is quite useful. This tells you to score down here, and this is the timer bar, which shows you how much time you have left to complete it. Originally it's a full green bar, but now there's a little bit of red since we've been playing for a while. Um, like I said, controls are very simple. Uh, you just click and drag, and then your mouse will move. You can continue doing that as well. Uh, it works out nicely, and it, like I said, the interface is very nice. Uh, it looks great. When you eat the items, the food pops up and turns transparent. Uh, there's little stars when you beat the level. The score goes up as numbers, and the mouse looks nice as it moves. Uh, it's nicely animated. Uh, it is a very simple game. You can see here, just uh, just eat these items. But it's a lot of fun because uh, there's a lot of replay value since the mouse will change over and over again since it'll randomize the locations of the food. So you'll always be trying to figure out how to beat the levels. Um, the backgrounds do change as you get further, like you can see here, it's progressed outside the kitchen. Uh, these little metal objects, uh, they block the path of the mouse, so he'll stop when he touches that. So you can continue on, it's much like eating a piece of food. So what you can do here is you eat the banana, move back to that, get down here, over there. Oh, we're going to run out of time. Oh, we did it. Well done. And uh, what really surprised me about this game is that the graphics are very clean and the interface is spectacular. It's like a fully featured game. It's not just like some uh, little individual person's uh, game. It's very nice. It has a nice feel to it and the controls are spectacular. I really love how it looks and the music is great as well. The sound effects are nice, high quality. Uh, I think we made a mistake there, but anyways, actually, maybe not. There we go. This is the only type of game mode, but that's fine because uh, the levels will randomize the location of the fruits every time you start up. And you'll have a lot of fun trying to get better high scores as you progress. You'll also learn how to play the game better. Um, what's difficult is that uh, you have to manage your uh, time since you want to figure out how to do it without messing up. Because when you when you uh, run off the map, you start a new level. So you see here, you lost a life and a new level has started. It's a new locale as well. And the fruit locations have changed. Uh, the rest of the game. Oh, this is the golden donut, which is a special food item with extra points. Turn off again. Uh, let's see here. 
Oops. Oh well. You can notice that you retain the points you made from the level you lose on, so uh, try to get as many as you can before you just forfeit. Um, the gameplay is very simplistic, but it's still a lot of fun. Let's see here. Uh, so we'll go back to the main menu. Uh, the game continues on like this. Uh, you just eat this fruit as much as you can. As you progress, there's better food which gives you more points, harder levels, more of these metal pieces to use. Um, but I'm not that good, so we'll just start. We'll just end the game here. Uh, actually, there's one more life, so we'll just try it again. Here we go. Oh, we got that one. Um. Oh, and the lose, actually. Yep, there we go. And the game's over. And as you see here, even the ending screen is nice. Um, this time I did fairly well, so I got a new high score, so he's stuck, as you see here. Um, if you lose without getting a high score, you'll see a nice little animation where the cat shows up and the mouse is dead and he flies to heaven. Uh, it's very nice. High score menu is clean. Uh, it highlights your score that you just made. There you go. And at the very bottom, because I haven't played much. But um, like I said, this is a very great game. Uh, you can see the nice interface here, the great menus. Uh, it's great that you can adjust both the music volume and the sound effects volume. And uh, this game is very great for 299. You'll have a lot of fun playing this because um, it has a great replayability factor. Um, you might get a little bored of the gameplay since it's only one type, but uh, it's a lot of fun. The graphics are clean and the interface is nice, as well as the music and sound effects. So, uh, if you like this type of game, then check it out. It's very fast paced since it's because of the timer. Um, this, is a video, this has been a video review from Touching Out Org.